Hello all, welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session we are going to talk about HP LoadRunner. As you all know, LoadRunner is one of the leading tools in the performance testing area. Once you download, register with HP site, you can install HP LoadRunner. You will see the HP LoadRunner in the programs. And then you have LoadRunner. Within that, there is an application menu. Click on that. It has different components. Analysis, controller and virtual user generator. The first thing is we need to always create a script. So we need to go to virtual user generator to create the script. So now I open virtual user generator. Before that I want to show you what application we are going to test. We have installed a local host application. I go to this one. This is on local store. This is a pet store. This is a typical e-commerce application for pets. A user can go to the home page. Then he enters the store. It shows different categories. Assume a user clicks on fish. And fish is the category. Within that there are multiple products like koi, goldfish, angelfish, shark, etc. Now the user chooses koi category or the product. Within that there are two items, ESD4 and 5, spotted koi and spotless koi. And this user can add this to the cart. This user can also update the cart and this user can also remove the item from the cart. All these are possible. Or the user goes to the home page then searches uh, like uh, dogs okay he does a search okay once he does the search it lists so many things this is also possible from here the user can choose the dog then add to the cart that's also possible so the user can either go to the home page do the category wise product wise and then go to the item add to the cart or can search view the item add to the cart now the question of load testing is if the users do the same thing if hundreds of users do the same thing what will happen that is what the purpose of load testing so to do that first thing all we need to do is open the load generator the virtual user generator then you need to create a script to do the script I click file new when I go to file new it shows popular protocols protocols are the structure in which the front end and the back end talk to each other if you say all protocols it lists everything like Ajax, C, COM, DCOM of which since this is a web application we are using the web HTTP HTML protocol choose the right protocol create it opens up this window then it asks I want to start recording what is the browser we say it is Internet Explorer then what is the URL now I give the URL this is the URL you need to test okay then I, I leave all the other options to default then I click OK now what happens is it opens up a browser you could see the events going up now I click enter the store the events have gone up if the events do not go that means the recording is not proper now the user goes to the fish category user selects this particular product user selects this particular item user adds this to the cart then user proceeds to checkout but does not check out okay now the user stops at this point of time if a real user does this this is what will happen in load, uh, load runner in the virtual user generator you have got two different views this is called tree view in this if you click here it really shows while recording how the page look like so each element in the tree on the left hand side if you click it will show exactly how it looked when you record it okay there is always uh, one more view this is called the script view if you click on the script then you could see on the left hand side three actions v user init 
action and end of which this is the action you could see in text format this is the text format web URL we went to the home page then we went to the link we went to this particular image okay this is the fish image then we chose this link then we chose this item then we clicked on that particular image then we, we proceeded to check out this is what we did if you see here this follows C syntax this is the open brace close brace return zero is like a C syntax in action also you see everything with the close brace open brace it's almost like with a semicolon ending this is all syntax now there is one more keyword you are using LR underscore think time this means think time means while recording how long the user waited between this and this that means I went to this page before going to this next page I waited for five seconds this is called the think time a real user will always take some time to move from one page to the other page while recording load runner records that time waiting time also now I save this let me save this as page 01 script now I click this I save the script to ensure the script works fine from here itself click on this run once you do this on the right hand side you could see the screen appears okay if you go to this this is the result this shows in the result you can see how it played back it literally played back whatever we have done so if you select this particular one action summary it says from this time to this time it ran then if you go to this one it shows this is how it, it took this is the time it took to run this particular thing now people who have used QTP they could see the results file they are all pretty similar to that of QTP so the first thing in the load runner is identify what one user will do in the application record that as a vuser script make sure from here itself you run it as a single virtual user that's why it's called vuser generator or virtual user generator vugen runs for one user whatever you record it has to replay as it is if there is an issue you may have to troubleshoot or re-record we stop this session here thank you